Folks, I'm asked from time to time, and one of my good buddies asked me this three, four months ago. I should have answered him back, so I feel like a dog for not doing that. But what are my favorite GoPro accessories? If you hear something weird, my pug is moving around the floor down here. All of us who have GoPros probably have a number of accessories, and, and we started with some trendy ones that we thought we would use all the time, and maybe we don't anymore. How many of us use chesties? I mean, really do. Uh, I, I'm sure a lot of them have worn them on our heads, but how many of us really still wear those on our heads? Well, what, I, what I've done is, is, is now after like, gee whiz, two and a half, three, year, three years at least of using GoPros, I'm going to talk about the ones that really I can't not do without. I can't do without whatever. First of all, I'm going to say this. I have spent for tripods as much as 200, 250 bucks for tripods years ago when I had camcorders that were big and unwieldy and, you know, things like this that I still use. I still use tripods and monopods and, and all that. You know, there's, there's certainly applications for those, and especially if you're going to be doing like interviews and all. But I find myself more and more in, for, for blogging and for vlogging and for like my guitar videos and so many other things, I have like three of these. I bought this Smotry. This is like a $20 little tripod. And it, of course, I've, I've already done a review of this, so I'm not going to do another review of it. Suffice it to say, it, it goes out really far. You know, it keeps on going, keeps on going. Very long, very stable. I love the fact that I, all I have to do is fold these little things back and I can put this whole shebang into a uh, carrying case. And I have a big carrying case that I put all my GoPros in when I go out and I can just lay. I can actually mount these things up. They weigh almost nothing. I have the GoPros ready when I get to a place where I'm going to shoot and have this already on it to set them up and start shooting. Now, this came from Wasabi. This was $19 from Smotry. This came from Wasabi. Um, this is the their um, hand grip thing. I think they call it the clutch. And, you know, it was one of those things I said, well, I, that's going to be pretty cool. I already had different handles that I used back then when this first came to me. I thought, well, it's a little bigger than the handle I used, but boy, I sure like this rubberized grip and all this. The thing I found is this is invaluable for keeping your GoPro charged up. And, and, you know, anytime I'm shooting now, I turn the GoPro on, I go ahead and press the little buttons back here, and you see I've got this thing charged up. This thing will honestly, um, I have tested this out to about four hours and like 38 minutes that this will, this will run a GoPro at 1080p 30. So that's fantastic. I mean, I think you can get as much as five hours, they say, uh, in some settings. This has been great. And, and I'll, I'll tell you what, I mean, I, I often... You know, since it has this hole in the bottom, I'll stick it on top of one of these, and this will be something I'll take out, and just to make sure that my cameras don't run dead. So I have two of these now. I'm going to get a third one. I like to do as many as three angles, and I can turn my GoPros on, especially if I'm doing a guitar video. I might want to do multi-takes to say I might screw something up. Uh, then I'll, I'll, I can sit there for two hours if I want to and play on pieces of music, brainstorm and everything and know that my GoPro is not going to run out of juice because it's bad when your GoPro just dies in the middle of a shoot. So this has become super valuable to me. I take it with me everywhere. Um, I mean, it's not the most inconspicuous thing in the world. If you want to like go stealth, you don't want to have this big handle. But I, I, I'd say I screw it on top of the tripods. This is one of the things that I found to be very handy. I actually screwed this recently onto this gooseneck. Now these goosenecks, I think this is like $15, again from Smotry, and these things will bend any which way you want them to go. And I and so you, you, and you can change the position. All you have to do is it has a little ball in here. You loosen this up and you can turn this any way you want it to go. So you see how handy that's gonna be. This thing holds like iron. It's got a nice rubberized in, interior here. You can clamp it to anything. I recently did this video for Joshua Messick where I did his uh, hammered dulcimer thing. Um, the hammer dulcimer video and if you've seen that video there's some overhead shots where I'm shooting straight down onto the the hammer dulcimer and so what I did there was actually an overhead uh, like a projector mount or something up there and so I, I turned this thing around like that and I clamped this thing to the overhead projector mount pulled that thing up and I used the GoPro app on my cell phone to see that I had everything lined up just right so I was able to look at my phone and say yeah it looks pretty sweet I shot it in 2.7k and actually, I had this thing attached to that, and it was it was kind of weird looking now, but I wanted to make sure that my 2.7 2.7K can run a battery out right quick on a GoPro, right? It really can. So having this attached, we shot for, gee, about an hour and 45 minutes different takes of the video that we were doing there, and uh, this thing, of course, kept it running the whole time. I never had any problem, plenty of juice the whole way through. So I would say if you've not got one of these, 
these are quite handy. You'll be surprised. I mean, they'll, they'll, there's so many surfaces. If you got to put something on anything here, I mean, you, you just don't realize how many surfaces I'm, I'm screwing up here on this one, but how many surfaces in the world are square or flat like that, that you can put these things on. If I want to do this this way, of course, and turn it up this way and turn it around. And I don't have to have a tripod with me. So a lot of times it frees up the, the need for a tripod. Uh, you can just clamp onto something that's existing there in whatever uh, environment you're you're using. Of course, if you want to get your th your GoPro at a right angle, you just use this thumb screw here to tighten up underneath it and position it any way you like. Also, this. So this is the Rav Power. I've done a review on this before, but this is invaluable. So especially if you're a guy that uses does multiple GoPros and you're constantly you know you're running your batteries down particularly before I had several of these and I need to get one more. This will power a GoPro all night long, like 12 hours or more. I mean, that, that doesn't even phase this. Uh, I'm not, this was the uh, RP PB19 is what this one is. And this one will power GoPro, I swear, for a long, long time. So for my nighttime time lapses, uh, this is what I use for if I need to recharge my batteries on a GoPro, multiple GoPros, or if I need to just power them live. A lot of times when I'm doing my driving videos and I have the GoPro even on the outside of my car, a lot of times I'll crack the wind to put this on the inside, run a little wire, a little USB cable inside the car, and I'll have this up on the dashboard or in, or in the pocket this, beside the uh, handle of my, of my car, my car door. And this will power the GoPro. I can ride for two or three hours and not have to worry about the GoPro going out. Awesome to have this kind of stuff. I also have this smaller one, which works for about two and a half hours, but it's, it's pretty cool. This is one that uh, Vivant sent to me, and I did a, a, a product review on this one. So I still use this one, but the, the uh, Rav Power is invaluable. I got it. I got to, got to keep that. And then the last go-to one that I always have, it's always, it's always there, and it's not really a GoPro accessory, although I would, I would argue that it is, is the Zoom H1, because... Like the audio you're hearing from me now, if I step away from this, it's going to sound terrible on the GoPro. Not that the GoPro has terrible audio. This is a Hero 3 I'm recording on one of the older ones. I'm not using a Hero 4. My Hero 4 is actually on this. But uh, the, the, the audio on this Hero 3 is not going to sound anywhere as good as it does on this. This is like 79, 89 bucks, depending on when you get it on, on sale. And then, of course, the little Sony ECM CS3 or whatever this is. That I'm wearing around my neck. I, I, the reason I have it on a lanyard now is because I usually have a pocket that I clamp it to, but I didn't have one on this shirt. So, you know, so I put the lanyard a lot of times in my case, and I'll have the little mic, and then the mic will go to a uh, Zoom H1, which is in my pocket, recording the audio, and I'll always, pretty much always replace the audio that's on the Hero 3 or Hero 4 with the audio that's been recorded on this Zoom H1. It's cheap. The little microphone is 15 bucks. Sounds great, stereo, very portable, very lightweight. Nobody knows it's even there. They, these are my number one, two, three, four, five accessories that I always have with me. I have a bunch of other accessories, and, and I use them from time to time. But these are the ones that have, have again and again proven to be so helpful. And, uh, you know, I guess you could even argue that, that the, little, um, the little things here are an accessory, these little guys. So be sure you have these, and most people do now, but you know the GoPro does not include it when you get the little uh, tripod mount. It's not included usually when you buy a GoPro, which is sad. GoPro should give you like three or four of these, or at least one, you know. So that's my thoughts, folks. Why don't you chime in and tell me what you think. What are your GoPro accessories you just can't seem to do without? Uh, those are mine, and uh, leave the comments in the comment section below and help each other out. That's how I learn about new cool stuff for the GoPro Hero 3 and Hero 4. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to my channel if you like.